Hello everyone and welcome to this intro video to a new series of videos that I'm going to be working on in the future. I decided to start making these videos and branch out this current YouTube channel because I spent a great deal of time thinking about content for the Battlefleet Gothic section of my video and I realized that ultimately even if there's a lot of popularity for BFG elements and BFG fun that can be had, I really wanted to talk about more than just Battlefleet Gothic. So I am opening up this section that I am going to be tentatively calling Nostalgia Poisoning about playing video games in a broader sense and not just another, oh, I'm going to play video games for your adoring attention. I'm going to be talking about an element of video gaming that I think is woefully under spoken about by a content creators in general it's not just how good old video games are especially in reference to newer video games of the more contemporary era but why they were good when we were all kids playing these games what about these games had them jump out at us what about them really inspired our youthful imaginations and why we have such incredibly rose-tinted goggles about these video games. Because if we go back and play many of these video games, what we're going to find is that they're nowhere near as good to our modern sensibilities as they were to our much, much younger minds when these games first came out. In this slideshow that I'm showing with this video, I'm giving a lot of examples of these games that I grew up with. Now, obviously, no, everybody is not going to agree with me about what the greatest video games of all time are. Now, a lot of the games that I'm showing here, I would say, are among the best ever made, and especially best ever made in the context of when they were made. You can easily find games that are similar or an extension of those games that are good, but something about the old game, something about the format and the style and the sometimes very primitive ways of playing actually makes the old game better than any modern contemporary that has ever come around. And I really want to talk about those elements. I want to talk about the old games that people constantly reminisce about, about, oh, these modern games aren't as good as the old games. Well, a lot of people today don't even know what Lunar is or Illusion of Gaia. Many people have no idea why Act Razor is so good and why the modern remake of Act Razor is really lacking in a lot of ways. A lot of people don't realize the difference between Act Razor 2 and Act Razor 1 and why Act Razor 1 is ostensibly a better game despite the increased functionality of Act Razor 2. People don't know about Mega Man X. People don't realize how incredibly huge the Mega Man franchise is and how important it is for gaming. And of course, we can talk about Sonic and Sonic CD, which is today the best Sonic side-scroller up until Sonic Mania recently came out. There's Secret of Mana and why its remake is actually phenomenal. As opposed to most remakes, which are hot trash. And of course, we can talk about things like Star Fox. Why the original Star Fox is actually better than most of its other Star Fox games. As we continue on, there are games that are so influential, not just on me, but on video gaming in general, that when you start to learn about some of these games, you'll realize that a lot of modern games are just really cheap knockoffs of older, better, infinitely superior storytelling that was made in a medium that forced the developers of game companies to actually work on the plot because they were so restricted in many ways graphically. So expect a couple of videos to be coming out under the uh, tentative name of Nostalgia Poisoning. And we're going to talk about things that built the current video game world that we live in. This will also, of course, bleed into my Battlefleet Gothic material and how a lot of video games actually inspired elements 
in Battlefleet Gothic. And you'll find that there are a lot of elements in video games that bleed into other game mediums, especially the miniature game world, which I spent a great deal of time talking about. And very likely, I will talk about how I got into miniature gaming as well at some point in a video describing why, at the time, that mindset was astoundingly healthy for a younger me back when I just got out of college and desperately needed a hobby because I was literally wandering around aimlessly with nothing better to do with my life. So look forward to these videos. I'm really excited to get onto them, and I hope you enjoy the new and interesting content. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Oh, also, I'm going to be making new sections in the Navis Nobleite Discord server to talk about video games and other gaming, so we can actually talk about this in a reasonably organized manner. Thank you all so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.